On November 10, 2010, after 36 seasons of coaching with 18 OAC championships and over 900 wins in softball, Muskingum University and the surrounding community lost the legendary head softball coach Donna Newberry to her third battle with cancer. I was only a player for one year, but continued as her student coach. After observing her from behind the uniform, I was truly inspired by her coaching. This is my tribute and dedication to the life, career, and the legend that is Coach Donna Newberry. My ideal career is exactly what it is. I've been saying ever since I was probably in seventh grade that I wanted to be, probably back then I said a gym teacher, but I wanted to be a physical education teacher. That was, that was my dream from the time I got to junior high school where you actually had physical education as a class. Well, it wasn't any surprise that she was going to be a coach because that's all she had talked about from the time she was in junior high school. She wanted to go right straight through, get her master's degree, and she wanted to work in a college. Sometime in early December, a job notice was posted on the, the job board at, at, at High University stating that Muskingum College was going to be hiring uh, a coach, and the coach was for field hockey, basketball, and softball. That was the three sports. At 22 years old, Newberry was hired by Muskingum College as their coach of volleyball, softball, field hockey, and basketball. Through her career, she stopped coaching everything but softball. With 36 seasons under her belt, she had over 900 wins and 403 wins in basketball. She became the all-time career wins leader in NCAA Division III history and the 25th in all three divisions. In 2008, she was inducted into the National Fast Pitch College Association Hall of Fame. Newberry took her team to six national tournaments and one national championship title. But if I could have done anything that I wanted to do, that's what I would have said. My mind never changed uh, from the time I was in seventh grade until today. That's what I've always wanted to do and that's what I do. Before Newberry began at Muskingum, she scouted her basketball team. To her confusion, she found men's intramurals upstairs and the women were in the pit using a flip over scoreboard. This was the beginning of Coach's fight for equal rights at Muskingum. The women had no access to trainers, so Newberry was their trainer. The softball uniforms were cut off jeans and t-shirts, while the basketball and volleyball girls used one uniform together for home and away games. Women were not allowed to be part of the OAC. That was a men's conference only. The women were not allowed to have their own conference, and I risked getting fired again to secretly drive to Columbus for multiple meetings with some other women ADs who were brave enough to try to form our own conference. The conference encompassed schools from all divisions trying to create their own women's league. The women's athletics at Muskingum organized a debate between Newberry and head basketball coach Jim Burson to fight for equal rights. After illegally obtaining the conversion numbers, Newberry exposed to the campus that all seven women's sports budgets did not equal that of just men's basketball. By 1980, Newberry still felt that no changes had been made. If things don't change this year, I am filing a lawsuit against the college. You look at Title IX and, and it doesn't register. You know what I mean. And, and most of the males are like, oh, well, you know, uh, let them do it the old fashioned way. They need to earn it, blah, 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 and all that stuff. Whereas uh, we took things that we had for, for granted. Newberry put her entire career on the line for the changes to be made for women at Muskingum. The first 10 years of her career, the only other Division III school they played was Ohio Northern University. The two schools were in competition with the likes of Ohio State and Ohio University. Even through adversity, on April 20, 2010, against Marietta College, Newberry won her 900th career win. With 900 victories in softball and 403 victories in basketball, you have earned your place in history as one of the greatest coaches in NCAA history. What it meant for the program is, first of all, our program is the first program in NCAA Division III history to reach a 900-win plateau. I mean, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, I think it reflects on the players, not just the current players, but all of those players that have come through this program since 1974, that it just speaks volumes as to the dedication and to the skill level and to the loyalty that, that players have shown for our programs. 
Newberry held a 69% chance of winning against any school and a 90% chance to win against an OAC school. Her team has won 17 OAC titles and Newberry has been honored 10 times as the OAC Coach of the Year. Her staff has been named seven times as the NCAA Regional Coaching Staff of the Year. Every time you hit a milestone, whether it's 800 or 700 or 600 or whatever it is, you know, you always entertain thoughts of, will this be my last? You know, will, will you hit another milestone? Uh, so, um, I think the main thing that sticks in your mind about milestones is just, you're glad you got to that one and you hope you'll get to another one. To know that our program has achieved the level of success that it, that it has achieved and it's been under all one coach and in some situations uh, coaching with, with a great deal of, of adversity, um, it's, it's really satisfying to think that, uh, that that's part of the legacy that you will leave behind. I love Muskingum. I've had several opportunities to leave here and go to like Division I programs. I've had people talk to me about uh, going into other coaching opportunities and that I'm wasting my time here, so to speak, as far as I'm too good for Muskingum, which is a terrible thing to hear anybody say, but I've had people say that to me. And that's not something that's even been tempting to me. Uh, I feel like if you love what you're doing, you should stay there. With her influence gone, she did not leave her legacy to just anyone. Carrie Hoying will now head the Muskingum softball program. It's the right person at the right place at the right time. Um, you know, it's a year where the assistant coach had to do far more than an assistant coach normally should have to do. I never, ever could have imagined that she wanted to pass this on to me. This is such a legendary program and she's such a legendary coach. Had, had someone new to the program been hired in to fill that position where not only were they trying to figure out which end was up in the program, but they were trying to do everything that I do in my job as well, uh, we would have probably been in deep trouble, but because Carrie could kind of continue on without missing a beat, she'd played in the program, she'd coached for a year in the program, you know, she already gave us that feeling of continuity, then to have her be the one that was able to, to step in there and do the things that she did, I'm just very grateful. I couldn't imagine being anywhere else right now, and it's such a humbling and honor to, you know, be asked to fill this position. It just lets me know that she has had, always had faith in me, and we'll continue. Carrie, you are walking in the footsteps of a legend, but you are walking in them well, and we are proud of you. You always challenge yourself to be that much better because she expected you to be that much better. Being a Muskie softball player means you have the passion to play for the game. That's why we work so hard. To be a Muskingum softball player, it means more than just playing a sport. It's, it's almost a lifestyle, and you have to dedicate yourself and work hard all the time. Coming out of this, like I know I'm going to be a better person because I was a Muskie softball member. She approached everything in life with, you know, passion, and she was going to give it her best and go at it all out. And I think that's the same thing that she expected, not just from her players, but from other people around her, people who worked with her to, to come with the same zest in life. You know, individually, the lives that she's touched, not only in women's sports, but the men who, you know, myself included, who look, look at it from you know, a perspective of, you know, hey, listen, that, there, there's somebody that uh, has done it the right way, and I admire her for that. I mean, after playing under coach, I mean, you're a changed person, and she knows exactly what to do to push you to get better. She pushed, pushed to make you better as a person. Working with her has, has taught me a lot about passion and, and about perfection. She's indescribable. She's one of those people that you meet once in a lifetime. She's truly an educator. I mean, the woman is uh, extremely intelligent. I think she gives a little bit of her strength to every person that she's ever coached. She dealt with countless members of softball players that who we know we're hard to deal with. This is it. This is the reality. This is where we're at in this game, in this moment of time. Uh, we need to be in the moment and do what we have to do, knowing that what we've done prior to this moment has prepared us to deal with this moment. I'll be able to do anything I ever want just because of how much she's been able to push me and get out of me. I could truly say it's been the, the greatest experience of my life. Anything that she did, she always had the passion to do it and the need to finish it. If you were in the foxhole with Coach Newberry, she's there for the duration. If she says she's going to do something, she's going to do it. 
and she really is at heart one of the most caring people I think that I've ever met in my life. She believes in what she does. She stands up for her beliefs. She doesn't back down. If you could describe her in one word, how would you describe her in one? Magnificent. Perfection. Indescribable. Professional. Mental toughness. Extraordinary. Dynamic. Tough. Passion. Influential. Caring. Strong. Believer. Brave. Amazing. 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 Thank you for everything. You guys, this next game is not about oh. every team in Must Kingdom softball history has made the tournament. And shame on you if you don't. That's not what it's about. It's about this team. Do you want in the tournament or do you not want in the tournament? It's about this team and what you are about and what kind of guts you have. Coach Donna Newberry has been an inspiration to everyone she's met. She's given me the inspiration and the tools I'll need to succeed in the world. There will always be someone to come and replace her successes on the softball field, but the memories that we'll have of Coach Newberry will never leave our minds. To know that I had the honor of working for the legend honors and humbles me. The life and career of Donna Newberry has been instilled in all of us, and her legend and memories will live on through us.